All right, folks, got a treat for you here today. Joe Lang from Team Meat in the Freezer. We're gonna make some Hassenpfeffer. Don't ask me to spell it. What that is in another word is rabbit stew. So this fall, when you get your rabbits, or you got right here, gonna get a good amount there. A liberal amount of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna season it with some salt, ordinary table salt. I probably put a couple tablespoons in there. Of course, that's gonna depend on your liking. I'm gonna put some black pepper. Pretty good amount. And I'm gonna to top it off with my favorite wild game season. This is nose down since game on season. It's phenomenal on a variety of game, but it's really good on this one. So a liberal amount in there. I've got a cast iron skillet heated up to medium heat. <laughs> this recipe normally calls for olive oil, but you can put anything you want in there, like any of your typical cooking oils. Uh, we just happen to have bacon grease from breakfast this morning because we're here in the south. So we're gonna get your beautiful rabbit here. Get a good coating of it. And our flour mixture, dust it off. Put it in the pan. This isn't the cleanest thing for the kitchen, so make sure your wives don't get mad at you. Crank that up a little bit. Man, it's looking good. I'll move that over a little bit. I can get one more big old piece in there. Be right back with you while that browns. I'm gonna rinse off my hands. All right, folks, what we're gonna do, we're gonna brown that rabbit two to three minutes per side on a medium heat and uh, to get a good brown on it. And then we're gonna set it aside on a paper towel and let it drain. Once we get all the rabbit pieces browned on both sides, I'm gonna show you how pretty this is in a minute. Then we're gonna work on the next step. So while this is browning, let me go over some ingredients you're gonna need for this dish. Okay, you're gonna need two to three rabbits. Obviously, you can work out the proportions depending on how much game you have and how many people you're gonna feed. Where well, this is gonna be done in a slow cooker in a big crock pot. So you're gonna need that. You're gonna need uh, three to five quarts of chicken stock or beef stock, whichever you prefer. I like the chicken. Uh, you can either come up with that broth or you can make it yourself with bouillon cubes or whatnot. You're going to need one good size onion. You're going to need uh, several celery stalks to your liking. You're going to need carrots. And you're going to need uh, potatoes. Now your potatoes, you can go with a traditional potato and cube them up. Or you can go, I've got some little small like uh, yellow skin potatoes or red potatoes. I like to use those little miniatures and put them in their hole. And you're gonna need some thyme. Some thyme leaves is a great addition. And then of course, we're gonna use more of the game on season. So, I want you to come along, check this out. Should be getting around time to flip these over. See that nice brown on there? 
beautiful brown. I wish y'all could smell this. Remember, you're not actually cooking the meat. It's more like you're searing it and putting a good little brown, like a crust on it. And we're beginning the cooking process. So then we're gonna take this good uh, rabbit here. We're gonna put it in there and that's gonna be the base for our dish. And essentially we're gonna put it in the crock pot. We're gonna cook it on a low heat. Slow and low is the key on the rabbit. So this whole dish after prep time is gonna be an eight, eight hour cook time in the crock pot. You're gonna have four hours on the rabbit. You're gonna remove the rabbit from there. You're gonna pull the rabbit from the bone, return it to the pot and then add your vegetables and everything and cook it an additional four hours. So we're gonna take you through the whole process here at MIF, if I, MIF Farms. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you give this a try this year. Give us a few more minutes. We're gonna check back with you just for the sake of keeping this video in a reasonable length of time. We're gonna check back with you once the rabbit's all browned up. Thanks. All right, folks. We got our rabbit all browned up, as you can see. My lovely video assistant will show you. We're gonna grab this browned up rabbit. I've got a large slow cooker over here. We're gonna put all of it in here. Every bit of it. Like so. Man, I wish you could smell this stuff. Oof. This is a lot of rabbit, heck. We don't need to be fancy. We're just gonna get it in there. Okay, now that the rabbit's in there, you can stay right on there, Miss Camera Assistant. I've got some pre-measured water. We're gonna add some water. This is gonna be for our chicken broth. That's two cups. And you're gonna have to gauge this based on how much rabbit you have. You wanna mostly cover the meat. This is four cups, which once that cooks down, that's probably gonna be enough. We're gonna get us some, um, we're using chicken bouillon here. This is Norbrand. So I've already done the math. I added four cups of water. So we're gonna take one heaping tablespoon, two heaping tablespoons, chicken stock. Put that in there. Once again, that is Nor chicken stock. You can buy it like this, or you can use the little bouillon cubes, or you can just buy chicken stock in the box. We're gonna put that in here. We're gonna take our thyme. Remember I mentioned that earlier, these are thyme leaves. We want about a tablespoon in there. I'm gonna eyeball it. Done this a few times. A little bit too much isn't gonna hurt anything. I, for one, like flavor. We're gonna put that in there. And now, we're gonna seal this up. I'm gonna put a lid on it. I'm gonna clamp her down. Now, before we get going hot in here, before we get going hot, I wanna take you over some additional ingredients. You look right over here. I've chose a bag of petite gold potatoes. This is a pound and a half, 24 ounce bag. Little small potatoes. I'm gonna wash them up and add them whole because that's how I like them in my stew. Right here, if my Miss Camera Assistant will come in a little closer, I've got five large carrots cut up, three stalks of celery, and one medium sized onion. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna put this in from the start. What I'm gonna do is these ingredients, I'm gonna cook the rabbit for a period of four hours on low heat. That's the key to making it tender. Four hours on low in the slow cooker. We're gonna pull the rabbit out, let it slightly cool. Pull the meat from the bones. And try to get all the bones out of the dish. Return it there and we'll add the vegetables at that time. So, keeping this short and sweet for you and to the point i'm going to pack these vegetables up put them in the refrigerator i just did this as a prep work for later we're going to see you in four hours here's the key right here low and slow we're going to see you in four hours thanks for coming along 
All right, folks, it's been actually about five hours. The dog approves. Anyway, as you can see, the rabbit pieces, sorry for the lighting, but the rabbit is literally falling off the bone. So now we're gonna pull it out. Sorry for the shadows. We're gonna pull this meat out. Man, I wish you could smell this. We're gonna pull this meat out. We're gonna pull it all off the bone with a fork. It is literally falling off the bone. We're gonna return it to the crock pot and we're gonna add our vegetables. And then we're gonna cook it for another four hours on low. And we're gonna see you at the end of this journey. And I can hardly wait to taste it. Mmm, mmm, good. Haas and pfeffer, baby. Go out there and get you some. Here's the continuation of our rabbit stew. We debone the wrap the meat and now we're adding the we're adding the vegetable in our crock pot. As you can see I already washed our potato and now we're gonna put in our vegetable um, carrots, celery and onion. And then I'm gonna mix it and we'll see you when it's done. Thank you, stay tuned. So we're adding all the vegetables I already mixed and we're waiting for for another four hours in a low heat. Okay, I'm just gonna close the lid and start. We're gonna cook for the low heat. Okay, we'll see you when it's done. All right, folks, here we are back for the final product. I can hardly wait. So, without any further ado, we're gonna try out our Hassan pfeffer rabbit stew. I'm gonna get some white rice that my lovely wife made. Come on over here, let's see what we got. We're going to put that here. We're going to unveil this. Oh my goodness. Good look in there. Get a nice look in there. Oh man. Stay on that for a minute while we get a nice stir. Oh my god. Look at that tender, tender rabbit. Nice potatoes, carrots, celery. Mm -mm -mm. So, we're going to take a little bit of this here. Excuse me, I'm going to get a ladle. that right here over some rice see that now it's a little hot but let me tell you something don't burn yourself it took a lot of hours we got about nine hours into cooking this dish Mmm. I'll tell you right now, those of you that get out there, harvest rabbits, and you are always frying them and everything, give this a whirl, mix it up a little bit. You won't regret it. You can also make this recipe with good pile of squirrels. So anyway, do us a favor. Both season kicked off this week in Georgia. We're going to be getting on it soon. We got a waterfowl hunt in Manitoba in a couple weeks with Chad and Stephanie and the family up in Manitoba. Lots of videos to come. Give this recipe a try. Drop us a comment down there when you try it. Please like and subscribe, and we're going to see you in the field. Keep the good Lord first. Be safe and shoot straight.